guys. So nice to talk to you today. Um, let me start with a question for Lauren. Uh, I was amazed to see that you're not only the author of the book, but you're also the creator and sole writer of the series the book is based on. How did that come about? Um, I, uh, through a series of unfortunate events, no, um, no, it was wonderful. Um, it was a long process. Honestly, it had to do with, um, it, it really emerged over time. Um, and the, I will say, I will shout out the studio was unbelievably supportive, um, and really took an enormous risk, um, by, by putting and consecrating that responsibility into my hands. It could only have happened, obviously, with the support and participation of all of the executive producers who actually knew what they were doing um, and um, and really worked to to really help me learn and grow into that process. And um, and also the cast was enormously um, helpful, patient, um, and I just had an enormous amount of material kind of alchemy to work with um, through their talent. Um, and so it's the only way it could have gotten done um, because otherwise it was an exhausting amount of work and, <laughs> and really overwhelming, but it, it, it allowed it to be not only possible, but to, to literally energetically be able to, to occur. <laughs> um, so thanks to all the people you see on screen also with you now. Now for the actors, what was the aspect of the show that got you the most excited about being part of the cast? Um, most yeah. Olivia. Olivia. You Olivia. go, Olivia. You go. You chimed in. You go. Oh no, I was. I was just like you know. It just seemed it was at a time where I was getting. You know, it was. Old. I mean, you guys were on it since the pilot. Pilot, but I remember reading it uh, and uh, thinking this would be so much fun, and uh, just wanting to be in like finding out I was in like Austin, Texas. That was also a pretty cool element to it. Um, I know that you guys filmed the other pilot in New York, but I was like really pumped to like see Texas and be like, I don't know, just out there <laughs> and running around <laughs> being bad teens. <laughs> it seemed, it was like, you know, it seemed like something I would, I would want to watch. So that was right? pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was just always, you know, grateful for the opportunity. Mm. You know, we shot the, we shot the, pilot in New York, which was a task in and of itself. You know, we were shut down by thunderstorms. Like it seemed like the thing was totally cursed. Um, you know, and there was like a year where we didn't know if we were going to be able to work with each other or what was going to go on. So when we got the call that, you know, we were going out of Texas, like, you know, this show brought me to the great state of Texas, which I loved, you know, I, the first thing I did was I bought a pair of cowboy boots and be able to like, you know, just to be able to like hang out with these guys um, for seven months and, you know, just really get to know them and really um, get to have fun. You know, ultimately, like we got to have fun um, doing this because of, you know, the way that Lauren written, wrote the show. It's such a fun show. Um, and that is the best, like when you're working and you're just having a ball with your friends, like yeah. it's, it's an amazing, you know, gig. Olivia. Mm -hmm. I remember, yeah, because I did the pilot in 2018. And so, yeah, I think originally, yeah, it was just a thing where like I was a really young actor and I had been auditioning for a super long time and I got it. And it was something that like, yeah, worked for like my age. And it was a thing where I was like, this is a very like, you know, interesting script and I got to read the whole thing. And then what really got me excited from the beginning was like for my, my like chemistry with the other actors the producers were there and it was like a room of women. And um, I was like, oh, this is really like, this would be such an, a, like a, a blessing to get to have like my first really big job be with all of these female producers and like a female creator and writer. And um, there were like female directors on the show and um, that was something that like I had been excited. And then when it got to like that final audition process, I was like, man, I really hope that this works out. Cause this would be like a really cool opportunity to get with like an entire team of these creative women to make the show. And what? what? Want to hear Cameron's too. Yeah. Thank you. Also. Yeah, that was really special. I, I think, I think something that really drew me into this project that like made me excited about it was when I got the audition, I auditioned for the pilot. I didn't get the pilot. 
but um i remember like like trying to read the book yeah <laughs> i remember trying to read the book and as fast as i could in time to audition and i was like really excited cuz lauren's lauren's work is like really really like beautiful and when i got the call like a year later to come and audition again i was really excited to find out that it would be taking place in Texas and I'd be working with all of these beautiful, wonderful people because um, they're so fun, but also because I'd never been out of the state of California for like longer than a month. So that was an entirely new, fun, exciting experience for me. And it was it was really fun, just in general. Speaking of the book, uh, Lauren, I read the book right after watching the series and I was surprised that there are quite a few differences, especially in the characters in the way they are um, from the book to the series. And since you wrote both, I'm wondering how did those changes come about? Well, I mean, I'll have to use Ray as a perfect example because he's the best example. Um, but, um, you know, the character of Ray in the book, even as we were going into, I was going into adapting it into a show, I have this, I said famously, you know, every character in the series is gonna have dimension and, and depth. This is before we cast Ray Nicholson. I said, everyone's gonna have dimension, you know, except for Ray Hall, he's, he's just a piece of shit, okay? <laughs> That's what I said. Anyway, and then when we cast, when, when Ray Nicholson, we decided to cast him, I realized when watching him that I couldn't commit to hating him as a cardboard character. I didn't believe it and I couldn't commit to it. And so that's what I meant about the alchemy. But, and so he's a perfect example. So then we had to, but that was a huge part of the plot, him being this kind of two dimensional villain. So all of a sudden, all of that had to get reshaped. But so, so I say he's the best example, but he's not the only one, you know, Jess and Cameron and Olivia herself, all of the ways, you know, I hate referring to them as tools because they're live humans. <laughs> um, but the tool set of screenwriting includes right, as a positive limitation, like paint palettes, the actors and what they see. And that was the part of it that I thought was, I mean, as a writer, as a geek, like a real nerd for writing, that is such an amazing thing to have experienced, right? Because you have to then take, it's these living forms. And that's what I mean about alchemy. Um, and I was really able to, I was really amazed at, there were moments even when I watched the footage back where they would find these almost gaps and pieces in the lines that I, could never imagine. So it really came out of working with live creative forces. Um, uh, that's where those changes came from. And I'm really glad. I'm really grateful for that. Me too. I love the changes. I love that the direction that you took with Ray's character. It was just everybody. I just, it was just like, uh, just a little well, bit extra. Well, it's really our direction. That's the great thing. Then it's becomes, it's ours. It's, it's ours. It's mine and Ray's. Um, and, and all, all so all of the people around around Ray, right? Because, you know, he found that in the context of working, I believe, Ray, correct me if I'm wrong, but you find that in the context of working with the ensemble also. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, like I, uh, I was glad just from the jump that everybody gets along, you know, like that was really the most important thing. And like the number one thing that I learned is it's really a team effort. You know, there's not, there's not so much pressure on the individual because like Cameron is one of the most supported people that like I've ever worked with. And Jess like was my bunk mate, you know what yeah. I mean? So like, so like we got to like, be like, oh God, you know, like, <laughs> so it just, you know, it informs the whole thing. And, uh, I you know, but so. I'm, I'm used to auditioning for pieces of shit, you know? So I, uh, I, <laughs> you know. But this was a nice was change for you. It's, you know, it's a change of pace for me as a, as a person usually, but uh, it was nice. Yeah. I just have time for one more question. I'd love to talk to you guys for so much longer, but le let me ask you, what was your favorite scene and, and all those crazy stunts? Did you, any of you get to perform any of them yourself? Yeah, I think we, we did a fair amount of the stunts. Of course, we had like incredible stunt doubles. Yes, in yes, we did. Um, but yeah, I feel like we got to like dabble in each of the stunts but that we did. Drive the cars for for then they just yeah. let you drive the 
Yeah, they like they let the guys like drive for the derby, which we was, got to crash the cars. And yeah, it was that, was, that was that was pretty thing. tight. <laughs> Jess and I were so jealous, so so jealous. I was so jealous that day. I was like, that looks like so much fun. <laughs> also, hanging out with stunt guys in Texas is like <laughs> nothing the like manly thing that one person <laughs> knew. <laughs> you know, it's like it's unbelievable. Bad. And yeah, I mean, we let. I actually made a bet with Jeff Schwan, who was the stunt coordinator. I had to reverse the the derby car to hit another car to get in front of a camera and he bet me a hundred dollars i couldn't get the wheel on this dime and i bet him and i got the wheel on the dime he gave me a hundred dollars i was like i was like no really that's that's amazing that's fun thank you so much you guys this is such a fun series to watch really exciting as well and wishing you all the best with it thank you thank you so much thank you very much take care guys